So what are some Bible highlighting tips? Welcome to Sunday Bible Study Basics, where we provide weekly Bible study tips to help you dive deeper in your faith. Now, when it comes to Bible highlighting, everyone kind of has their own version of what works best for them. I'm going to share what works best for me in hopes that some of it helps you as well. First off, you know how at the beginning of every book in the Bible, there's the title. Like at the beginning of Matthew, there's the title on top with some extra space on the side. Now, your Bible may be a journaling Bible where there's a bunch of space on every page to write notes, or it may be a normal thin line Bible without tons of space. Mine is a thin line, skinny Bible because I just like it smaller. Either way, close to the title of every book, there will be some space. So where it says Matthew, for instance, I find it super important to write down some of the historical information so that I can always have it close by and I can reference back to it. I'll include the author, the date that it was written, who the audience was, and what the main theme throughout the book may be. And if you don't know where to find this information, we actually have it laid out in the Bible study. Some Bibles have it uh, in an intro in each book that might include it, or you can do some research online. So for our example of Matthew, up top I'm going to write tax collector because it was written by Matthew the tax collector. I'm going to write AD 50 to 55, which is when it was written. I'm going to say that it was written to the Jewish people of the time. And then I'm going to write Jesus is Jewish Messiah, the fulfillment of the Old Testament, because that's the theme that we'll see all throughout the gospel. Once you have those written on the top of the page by the title, I'm going to read through the entire book to get the big picture of the text. This isn't a time to really dig in. This is an overview perspective. No need to go slow. Then I'm going to go back through and highlight. When I lived in Australia, we actually called this color coding because you would have different colors of highlighters for different things that you wanted to highlight in the text. And I think it's a great idea for you to do that as well. So buy a few highlighters. They actually make Bible highlighters so then they don't ruin your pages if you have thin pages in your Bible. And then I would assign each color to a specific quality that you want to remember in the text. Whatever is important to you. This could be highlighting a characteristic of God. Every time that Jesus spoke, every miracle, every command for us, every location if you're really into the history. So pick three to four things that interest you and now go back through the text slowly, highlighting according to your colors and afterwards you'll be able to see the text through a completely new lens. So I hope that helps. Have the best week.